guys, today is going to be another haul video. This is going to be the April haul. If you're wondering why I'm wearing lashes, I'm actually trying out some magnetic lashes that I did end up getting this month. So I will get to that so you can see what the hell is going on because I never wear lashes. So whew, we have a lot to go through this month and I am, I can't remember last time I bought this many eyeshadow palettes in the same month and I need to go grab another one because I forgot to put this in a box. I'll be right back. All right, I almost forgot my certified palette, so that is going in the box as well. So I don't even know where to begin. I think I will begin with the most exciting thing that happened to me this month. I have mentioned this in a previous video, I'm pretty sure, but I ended up getting a PO package from FragranceNet and I was so blown away because they literally sent me like the whole collection of uh, Betsy Johnson makeup. So I have like so many things right here. I have lashes, I have some highlighters, I have lipsticks, I have... I mean, you name it, I have so many things in here and I cannot wait to make a video on this, but I've had so many things come in that are like, you know, new on the market that I would want to kind of prioritize over this, but all of this stuff looks so fun and I can't wait to sit down and play with it. So if you guys want a video with this stuff like ASAP, let me know and I will for sure film it before I'm done filming with all of these other things that you will see. So I'm not gonna go into detail on like everything that is in this bag because as you can see, there's a lot of stuff and I can't believe that a brand decided to actually send me like a whole box of stuff. Like my mind was blown. I didn't get an email about it, nothing. It was nothing. Like it just showed up in my PO box. I was just like, are you kidding me right now? And I, that was just so cool. So <laughs> I think we should, uh, let's just get all of the eyeshadow palettes out of the way because I feel like I've talked about a lot of these and some you might not have seen. And I feel like this lash is like poking me. I'm not used to wearing lashes at all. And I feel like these lashes are a little bit too big for my eyes. I'm pretty sure that this video right here is going to be going up before the haul. If not, I will, you know, you'll, you'll see what happens. <laughs> so let's just pull out some palettes here. So the first palette that I received this month, I didn't actually buy this month, but this is the Certified Affinity 2 palette. Oh, this is just so beautiful. I've yet to play with this. This is probably going to be my next palette that I do film with. So I'll probably film with that tomorrow. I'm so excited. I mean, this is just stunning. So... I'm hoping that palette is going to perform a little bit better than my Blush Tribe Neon Dreams palette. I actually put up my video with this uh, this morning when I'm filming this and thank you guys for such sweet comments. I was not happy about posting that video but you guys are making me feel so much better about it and you better believe that I would never hold back information about a bad palette just to, you know, make myself look better in front of a brand but at the same time it sucks to bash a brand that I really like but you guys obviously come before anyone so you know, I yes, I wasn't sure if I wanted to post that video, but at some point, like in a video like this, I would have definitely mentioned this if I didn't end up posting that video, but I did post that video, so I don't know why I'm rambling. But just know that you guys mean everything to me, and I wouldn't want you guys to ever buy something that is terrible and that I could have given you a honest review on, so <laughs> I'm never going to hold back honest reviews, even though it means that it's hurting my relationship with the brand, because I just, I just, I don't have it in me, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it about this palette, so highly regret getting that one. The other palette that I got though is the Linda Hallberg Spectral Palette. This palette is so beautiful. I've done a first impression with this. I will link it up in the corner if you want to check this out, but this is just so pretty. I still haven't really made up my mind about it. I only used it once. I liked it. I didn't love it. I don't think I would say it's worth the money. It's like $60, so I don't feel like it's worth that much. It's a good palette, but I don't think it was like mind blowing or anything like that. But I need to play with it more. I need to do more looks. I need to do like a full review before I can really make up my mind on that palette. So that's kind of where I stand on it right now though. So another palette that I have done a first impression with is the Burger Palette by Glamlight. This is just so much fun. And I will show it to you again if you didn't watch that video. I will also link that video up in the corner, but Here's what the palette looks like. And I just, I love the names of this. It's just so fun to be like, I'm gonna put mustard in my inner corner, you know? Like that is just cool. And then they have like sweet potato fries and red onions and onion rings. I'm just, I'm so here for those names. That's so much better than, you know, like sexual names and stuff like that. Food is just fun. I don't mind that at all. So next palette that I got is the Midas Cosmetics High Times palette. I also did a video with this. I can't wait to do more looks with this. Honestly, I've played with this a few times off camera while I was sick and I really enjoyed it. So if you're wondering about this palette, I think it's worth the money. I think it's a great palette. It's also very inexpensive. I think I paid $20 for this. So if you've been thinking about picking up this palette, I would say go ahead because I quite like it. I think it's a good palette. Something else that I bought this month that I was really excited about was some uh, single shadow from Glaminatrix. I know they're looking a little bit messy right now because I did film with them not that long ago and this shadow here seemed to just crack. I don't know what happened to that, but 
yeah, what can you do? That's kind of what happens with single shadows. Sometimes they're a little bit messy and if you're not careful with them and you throw them around too much, they break. So <laughs> yeah, can't do anything about that, but I did end up getting these and I do really like them, at least most of them. If you saw my review, you will see that there was two shadows in this that I didn't particularly think were great, but all of the other ones were amazing. I love them. I think they are beautiful. The next palette right here ended up being a bit of a dud, which kind of sucks because this is the Uma Allure palette. I thought this was called the Black Magic palette for whatever reason because it says Black Magic here and I'm not the only one I've seen call this the Black Magic palette because it doesn't say anywhere but like the back of the palette, which is kind of weird what the name of the palette is. So I don't know, it was a little bit confusing, but I just, I fell in love with this packaging. I think this is so cute. I just sucks that the palette didn't really work out. I mean, it's... It's okay, it's just not worth $44, and I feel like this is the theme with a lot of palettes lately, that they're just not really worth the money, you know? Like, if Colourpop came out with this, I would say, sure, it's a fine palette, you know? It's not mind-blowing, but, like, it's Colourpop. <laughs> not that I have anything against Colourpop, but you know what I mean? Like, their prices are just kind of like, you can excuse if some of the shadows aren't that great because of the price, but I do really like Colourpop as a brand, and I think that they come out with, honestly, better shadows than most brands, so <laughs> there's that. Next thing that I got is something that I am so excited about and I've yet to open this because I've had so many things come in, but this is the Kaleidos Cosmetics uh, Futuristic Futurism Collection. It has three palettes in it. I don't really want to open this right now, but I'll put a picture on the screen of what the palettes look like. And I've seen so many videos with these already and they look so beautiful and I have such high expectations for these. So I can't wait to film with these. Uh, I'll probably do that in the next couple of days. At some point, I will probably make three separate videos on them and do a review on each video or each palette instead of doing a like full collection video because that's just going to take too long to film so I'd rather kind of split it up and make three videos out of it so that's going to be the plan with this so let me know which one in this collection you want to see me feature first because like I said I will do a review and looks with all of these so let me know which one you want to see first so those were all of the palettes out of the way now we can move into like the smaller stuff you know and I've kind of decided that I don't think I want to continue doing these monthly hauls because it's kind of a pain in the ass to like make sure that I have everything, you know, like in one place at the end or when I do plan on filming this because a lot of the time I feel like I'm like, ah, I'll use it after I'll film my haul. And then it kind of just sits around, you know, the whole month for me to be able to use it until after I film my haul. If not, I'll like go back and put it in my drawers and then I have like look for them and find everything. And it's just, it's just kind of a mess. So I think I'm going to start doing like a monthly, not a review roundup, but just like a makeup brambles, I think I want to call it or something like that, where I just like kind of talk about a lot of stuff that I've tried, what my thoughts are on them. And that way it's not going to be repetitive for you guys as well, because I'm going through like all of the same palettes over and over and over that I've already made videos on. So maybe I will just like talk about products that I've tried that I haven't really talked about on my channel, like face products and foundations and you know, all that jazz that I don't really go into details about unless I do a review, which I don't really review a lot of face products. So that's probably like my plan going forward. So let me know what you think of that. I hope that's okay. Honestly, it's my channel. I do what I want, but I still want you guys' opinion, you know? I still want you to be happy as well as me being happy. So <laughs> let's just kind of dive into this. I do have a couple of Octolave reviews that I want to get out of the way. So I'm going to start off by talking about the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. Say that six times fast. I bet you can't. So this bottle here, Oh, it's so beautiful and it feels so luxurious. Now, the reason why I applied to get this or the reason why I wanted to try this is because I've said in a lot of videos before that I am not really like into skincare a lot. I feel like skincare is kind of overrated and the skincare doesn't really do anything. At least the things that I've tried, I'll also just keep in mind, I don't know anything about skincare and ingredients. And so I'm very just like in the dark when it comes to that, which is why I don't really experiment with a lot of skincare because I don't know what goes together, I don't know what's supposed to be used with what, and so on. So I just stick to the basics. I mean, honestly, the only thing that I used before I started using this was a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a toner, and that was pretty much it. So, wait, am I forgetting something? No, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, the reason why I wanted to get this is because it's kind of like an all-in-one serum. So I heard so many good reviews on this and I don't even want to say the price, but <laughs> this bottle right here is $160, I'm pretty sure. It does have a lot of product, it does have 75 mils, but it's insane. Like, honestly, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to try it because it's so expensive, because I was like, you know what, if I'm going to try anything, 
it's going to be something that people actually really like and something that has really good ingredients in it. So if I don't like this, I don't know if I can really get on board with like the skincare wagon. So my experience with this is I've now used it for 25 days straight morning and night and I really wish I had more time to review this but I need to get my review up within like 30 days of receiving it which is really not enough time to you know do a review on a skincare product I feel like but I have definitely noticed some changes some good some bad I noticed in the beginning when I was first starting to use this that my skin felt a lot tighter and a lot plumper which is not a feeling that I'm very familiar with so I was like ooh what's this like this is kind of cool this feels nice it really sinks into my skin super quickly it absorbs right away which I love because a lot of the times with my oily skin a lot of products just kind of sit on top of my skin and don't really absorb into it so I really like that about it and I don't really know if I can say that I like this because my skin has been acting up a lot lately I've had a lot of just like weird bumps on like my chin and stuff on places that I don't really get bumps in acne so I don't know if it's because of this serum um I did stop using it for the past two days and it seemed like my skin has calmed down a little bit which makes me a little bit worried and I don't know if I'm going to keep using this I need to kind of take a week off and see what happens but also right now it's like my good week in my cycle if that makes sense so it's really hard for me to do a review on a product like this when I haven't gone through like two cycles at least because my skin acts up depending on where in the cycle I am and I feel like that's pretty common at least tell me that's pretty common I feel like it is so I just don't know if I'm able to give you guys a full review I will say though that the good thing about this product is that I feel like it's made my skin less oily like I feel like my skin is more balanced in like I don't even know how you balance that or how you measure that but my skin feels way less oily which I love that because my skin is usually really oily so that's not ideal so I do want to give this you know a couple more months of use and see how I feel about it but for now that's really all I can say and I don't know if I would recommend this or not because like I said my skin was acting up pretty bad for a while there and I just I don't know if it's a serum that's causing that or not because my skin usually does that but it just seemed a little bit out of the norm so it's just hard for me to say so I'm just going to leave my review at that and then you know I I think a lot of people would really like this is where I'm getting at so I don't know you know maybe if you're wondering about this get a sample of it at Sephora or something see if it's something that you might like but yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't really know what else to say I don't I'm not comfortable giving like a either I recommend it or I don't recommend it but this is just like my experience with the product thus far so that's the first product that I want to talk about that I got through Octoly and the next one is going to be this uh Sol de Janeiro I hope I'm saying that right Coco Coco <laughs> Coco Cabana spray. I love this. I got the cream in a box of charm a while back and I really like that one too But I actually like this one more because I'm not really a body lotion kind of person that much I'll use the cream, but I'll use it as like hand cream. I don't really like to smear stuff all over my body I just I don't know. I'm just not that kind of person like that's just too high maintenance It's not me. So <laughs> I really like the spray. I just think it smells so good You can see I've used quite a bit of this but I want to put a little bit of this on and it just oh, it smells so good now the thing is, if you don't like very sweet, almost like sickeningly sweet smells, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> and I just got this in my mouth. I probably should not have sprayed that right now, but this smells so good. Like, for <laughs> excuse me. Wow, that was <laughs> not a good idea. But it has like the fragrance notes on this, which I find really interesting because at first it says top coconut caramel, which is supposed to be when you first spray it, and then mid it says praline 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 right i don't know and marshmallow is like mid and then it says dry is honey and toasted vanilla latte and none of them really smell like what i would explain this to smell like because i kind of feel like this it smells like kettle corn but like i don't know like coconut kettle corn kind of it's weird like it just it smells like it smells sweet and toasty not salty but just it, it, it reminds me of popcorn and I don't it doesn't say it's supposed to remind me of popcorn but it just does it reminds me of like buttered kettle corn like the smell is what I would imagine like but, buttered kettle corn to smell like and I love it I think this smells delicious it's not something that I really use every day because I feel like it, it can get a, it can get a bit much if you use it all the time like I might get sick of it but 
once in a while, like, if I feel like spraying this on me, even, like, in a room here, sometimes I'll just, like, spray it because I just think it smells really good, so... <laughs> I would highly recommend that if you see it in the store and you've been planning on maybe picking this up. I think this is awesome. So let's get into the smaller stuff that I have in here. So it's quite a bit, but I don't think it's as many small things as it was last month. I'm pretty sure. I mean, last month was bad, but this month was really bad, like eyeshadow palette wise, because I bought a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So let's get into the first two things I have on top here that I actually just made a video with. And these are the Cover FX uh, Monochromatic Duos. I got a bronzer and a blush. This is a blush, which I just think these are beautiful. I love these so much. I also got the bronzer and I am wearing the bronzer today. I'm not wearing the blush because I just didn't really feel like I wanted like a pink Barbie blush today because I wanted to wear a orange lipstick. So just didn't think they would match. So also speaking of what I'm wearing today though, I want to show you these lashes that I got. I'm like looking for everything in here. So these are the Moxie lashes. These are the magnetic lashes that I saw Robbie De Kirsty do a video on and I bought them right away because I think they looked so good on her. I don't know what style she had. I feel like she didn't have these ones. I feel like these are maybe a little bit too long for me. Also, I just feel like they're the lashes themselves are like the strip of the lashes are too long because I have really long, I have really small eyes. So I feel like this side here is just like not really sticking. So I actually feel like I could trim off like the last magnet. I might have to try to do that because these are just the lashes themselves are just too big on me, which is a shame because I love how they look. I think they look beautiful. And it also comes with, or it didn't come with, you have to buy it separately, but I got the uh, gel eyeliner. So this is the magnetic eyeliner that you use to apply first and then you put the lashes up top and then the lashes just like stick to it. So you can see like they just kind of stick down, which I mean, is really cool. <laughs> I love the concept. They were so easy to put on. So I think what I might do is I might try to look for a site that sells magnetic lashes and then use a different lash brand to go with the lash liner or the magnetic liner. Let me know if you know of a brand that sells short, not like short as in the length, but like short this way, lashes that are magnetic. I would love to know. Or maybe even just like a half lash or something like that. Like I would be very interested in trying that because I love the look of fake lashes, but I hate, hate, hate trying to put them on with glue and it makes a mess and I suck at it and I just give up and I'm in a bad mood the rest of the day and it's just, it's not my thing, it's not ideal. So, you know, if I could like start wearing uh, magnetic lashes from time to time, I think that would be awesome. But yeah, so let me know if you know of any brands that have like half magnetic lashes or something like that, I would be very interested. So something random that I ended up picking up at the drugstore is this Rimmel mascara because you guys know I've started doing like some uh, mini reviews lately and I thought this could be like a very interesting product to do a mini review on because the wand on this, at least looking at the photo down here, looks very similar to my Bad Gal Bang. I love the kind of spiky wands that are just straight. Love that. So also I like the claims on this and it's called Wonderfully Real and I like the name too. So it says Fuller Longer Luscious Lashes. So. Yeah, I really want to try this. I'm excited. So I'm probably going to do like a comparison video with this first Bad Girl Bang just so we can kind of see how that goes. So obviously I haven't opened that because I'm not going to try it until I film that video. So I also have a foundation here that I want. Why am I shaking this? It's not like I'm putting it on. <laughs> this is the Hello Happy Foundation by Benefit. I used this in a video not that long ago trying to do like makeup techniques that I don't normally use because this is a very lightweight foundation and it doesn't have a lot of coverage, which is kind of out of my comfort zone and not something that I use a lot, but I've used it a few times now and I really like it. I think it's great. The lasting power isn't like super long, but it still lasts very well on me unless I'm out in the heat and like doing stuff. But even then I can easily get like a good like five to six hour wear out of it. So I think this is just, it's just so cute too, you know, like you can't go wrong with a foundation with a smiley face on it. Anyway, at least I don't think I can. So the next thing that I also ended up picking up, I feel like I picked this up last month though, but it was on my list of this month. So who knows? But this is a mini gold rush blush also by Benefit. Wow, I buy a lot of stuff from Benefit lately. And so I mostly, I need to use this as, as a topper because it's just like too light for me. I'm wondering even if I can use this as like a highlighter, probably not, but this for me is just like too light to be a blush, but I have used it on top of the, What's it called? The California brush, blush, which is what I'm wearing today. I really like this blush. So actually, you know what? Let me put some of this on so you can see what they look like layered on top of each other. So this just kind of helps like 
not brighten up but just smooth out the blush a little bit and I just I think that looks really pretty it does also have a bit of a sheen to it so I'm a huge fan of like a shimmery blush I just think that looks so nice and fresh and pretty and yeah I like this a lot so big fan but I can only use this as a topper which I mean I don't really mind it and also the fact that it's a mini makes it kind of okay so the other thing that I got was some stuff from Colourpop I ended up getting the I don't have them in front of me right now I don't honestly just don't even know where they are but I got the uh, neon shadows and I did a video with those I also ended up getting like their whole set of eyeliners so I have all of them in front of me I'm not going like, to pull them up and show you because they're all mixed in with my other liners but I love them. I feel like they are the same formula as the old ones. I do feel like they improve their packaging. I have not yet had any of my liners like fall out of the uh, packaging, which a lot of the old ones do. Like this thing just like comes out. But the new packaging seems really nice. And I also love the fact that it's, you know, you can see on the pen what the color of the pencil is. I think that's awesome. So, so far I don't regret that purchase at all. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of all of those liners. So I don't really mind having picked them all up. I also ended up getting one of the single blushes from uh, Colourpop because I like the ones that I already have. Shocking that I ended up getting a baby pink or like a very cool toned pink. <laughs> this is in the shade Above and Beyond. I've yet to use this because I can't find the Colourpop single palette that I have all of my like single blushes and highlighters and I need to go look for that because I just don't know where it is. And I didn't want to randomly put it into a different empty palette and then just like have everything get lost, you know. So that's still in there for waiting for me to find that palette so I can use it again. And also with my Linda Hallberg order, I ended up getting some of her other stuff and I've seen Angelica use this so many times, but this is like the powder puff. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay for like setting under the eye, but I've noticed that the, some of the different powders that I have, because I don't usually bake or like press powder into my skin with, you know, a, an object, I usually just use a brush. So I've noticed that some of the powders that I use don't sit as nicely under my eyes when I use this puff as when I use a brush but I want to keep playing with this because oh my god like this thing is so soft you have no idea and it's just it's so cool it's got like this little thumb hole here and then you can kind of flip it around and if you want to use it on the other side there's also like a hole to hold it this way so I don't know I think this is cool maybe probably a little bit overpriced but I just wanted to try it because I saw her use it and I should just do a video on Angelica and maybe buy it let me know if you want to see that so two other things I got from Linda is uh, the uh, Mood, no, this is not called a Mood Crayon. This is, or maybe it is, I feel like it's just the colorful ones that are called a Mood Crayon. I don't really know, but this is the red one and I didn't have a red eyeliner. So I thought what better time to pick up a eyeliner from her to try out the red one because it's really tough to come across a red eyeliner and I've yet to try this, but I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to be able to use it. Uh, my favorite thing that I got from this order though is the uh, Fantastic Lipstick. I think this is so beautiful. Like this is kind of like a gloss stick but with a little bit more pigment to it. So kind of compared to the Marc Jacobs one, you will see here it's very like wet looking. But I feel like this has more pigment to it than the Marc Jacobs one. Maybe I will swatch the Marc Jacobs one next to this so we can see. So here is the one that I have from Marc Jacobs. Of course I have a mauve one because I have an obsession with mauve lipsticks. So you can see this one doesn't have, maybe it does have the same amount of pigment. It's pretty close. So I guess they're both equally pigmented and I just, the formulas are extremely similar actually. I feel like the Linda one maybe dries out a little bit more as time goes on than uh, the Marc Jacobs one, but I love, love, love this lipstick so much. I love the sleek packaging. I love the design of this. I just, I love this. I want to get more of these. I think these are great. This is also advertised as a multi-use lipstick, which I mean, every lipstick can be used on your face as well. But I picked this one up because I thought it could be a good blush shade. So, I mean, this is what it's going to look like if you blend it out as a blush. And I think that could look really, really pretty. So I need to try that because that's like one of the reasons why I ended up buying this because I wanted to be able to use this both. So I'm really happy I picked this up. And like I said, I would love to get more of these now because I love the formula of this. I think this is stunning. Wow, I'm looking in my kind of basket here and most of the things in here are lip products. <laughs> God, I just, I have a problem. I didn't realize I was such a lipstick hoarder. To be fair though, five of these were sent to me by a friend. So I just want to thank Vanessa over at Hot Mess Nest because she sent me five of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks because she had some duplicates. And she was like, hey, do you want these? I've never used them. And I was like, of course I want them. Like. 
<laughs> yes. So she sent me five of these and obviously you guys know I love Jeffree Star, so I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're going to be watching this, but trust me when I say I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these. I've actually worn two of them already. I think I've worn the two nude ones and I like these a lot. And yeah, I'm really excited to play with all of them because lipsticks and because Jeffree Star lipsticks. So yeah, love these. Two other products that I absolutely love that are both glosses or I mean this Wet n Wild one is called a high shine lipstick, but it really acts more like a gloss. I love these so much. I now have two. I think they are fantastic. I love the formula on them. They're like kind of sticky, but not really sticky. And they last for a quite a long time for being a gloss. I know I keep calling it a gloss, but it just acts like a gloss. I'm just going to call it a gloss, okay? <laughs> but I love this. I have mine in the shade I'm Nude, I'm pretty sure. No, Send Nudes. Oh, Send Nudes. No, I don't want to send you nudes, but that's the shade that I have anyway. And the other one that I'm wearing today is the So Juicy Gloss by Colourpop. I'm wearing this one on top of a Lime Crime lipstick, and that's why it's like bleeding a little bit, because I feel like these are just best used on their own because they are so sticky. Or not really stick, they're just thick, you know? They, they don't like stick, but they're thick. They stick to your lips, but not like that, you know? So I, I like this a lot. I like the minty feeling of it because it's not like, it's not super plumping. It's not like the strong kind of minty feeling that you get with like plumping lip glosses. It's just like a very pleasant minty feeling and I like that. Here's a product that I have not really played around with a lot. And this is the L'Oreal, what are you called? I don't think this even has a name. I don't know, it just says L'Oreal lip color, so. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a nude. I honestly don't even know what line this is from. I have tried it once. I wasn't the biggest fan of this color because it's just a little bit too... I don't even know how to explain it. I just don't feel like I look very good in like a peachy nude. I don't know. So I thought it was okay. I didn't wear it for very long because I was having lunch right after, so I took it off, but I don't really have an opinion on it. So this is like one of those products I feel like will be coming up in my makeup rambles, you know, product rambles, because this is something that I just need to try out more. And I feel like if I just have like a monthly kind of update, just chat about products kind of type series, wow, I cannot speak today. But if I have that, I could pull out like products like this that I've just haven't really had a lot of time to use in the month that I bought it. And then I can just give you like a better review on it, you know, as we go instead of, like I said, being very repetitive and talking about the same products that I've already mentioned in videos and stuff. So. Okay, let's just move on. So I feel like I've mentioned this already, but this is the Essence Lash Princess. This is the green tube. I bought the pink one like a while ago, hated it. And I got so many people saying, oh, you need to try the green one. So bought the green one, it's fine. I mean, not like blown away or anything, but it takes a lot for me to be really impressed by a mascara these days. So I can see a lot of people really liking this and it's really inexpensive. And I totally get if this is like someone's holy grail because I'm just a bit of a mascara snob, I can't help it. I just, you know, I found my holy grail already and I don't want to change it and I don't want to use anything else. So yeah, I'm just going to always be comparing every mascara I own to my Bad Girl Bang because it's fantastic. And <laughs> If something doesn't live up to it, I'm just not going to like rave about another mascara until something does. So it's fine. If you want to try it, try it. I think you're going to like it. This is boring, but I ended up getting another one of my Too Faced Glitter Glues because I just honestly couldn't find the other one. I don't know what happened to it, but I was almost out anyway, so I was like, might as well buy a new one. Something else I ended up getting is the J-Cat Holographic 3D Eye Topper. I think I got this when I ordered some stuff from Ulta. I think it was when I got the palette from Uma Beauty, and I have not used this yet somehow, and it's beautiful. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. I wouldn't call it holographic though. It's more just like a green gold shimmer, but I feel like I'll be able to use this with a lot of different looks, especially some green looks. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. Some other liquid glitter thing that I got is from Stila because I have a problem when it comes to these Stila ones and I really wanted to try the new ones. And this is the Little White Lies in Mint Myth. And I've used this a couple of times and I think this is just so stunning. These swatches are just not going to be that great because I'm swatching at the weirdest places on my hand, but like, do you see that shine and that shift? Oh, it's just, it's so, so beautiful. So we have three more lip products to go and I think that's going to be it. I mean, I feel like I bought more things this month. Not really sure, I might be forgetting something, but I, I don't know. We're just gonna go with this. So 
Next one in here is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Again, Angelica, I've never tried this formula, but she was talking about these in her Lip Declutter. I think these were the ones that she was raving about. I could be wrong. I like it. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of like the very thick kind of moussey formulas that much. I can see why a lot of people really like them because they are really comfortable, but I just feel like it's a little bit too just thick for my liking. It reminds me a lot of the, is it the Kiko one or the Koki ones? Let me find that one. Okay, so it's the Koki ones. It reminds me a lot of the same formula as the Koki lipsticks because this one is also just like very kind of thick and moussey. And I feel like these are very similar in texture and I don't know like how well they wear compared to each other, but I do like this. I like the color of this a lot. It's a really nice nude on me. So I can definitely see myself like just having this in my purse for when, you know, if I don't want to wear something that's super long lasting, I can just like put this in my purse because it's just easy. So don't love it, don't hate it. I don't think it's ever going to become like a holy grail kind of lip product for me, but I like it. I think it's good. I also ended up getting a gloss from Morphe. When did I get this? I feel like I probably got that at, wow, I'm just making a mess here. I'm getting lipstick everywhere. <laughs> I think I got this at Ulta as well, I'm pretty sure. And this is kind of like a rose gold with some pink in it. Is there like a word for that? I feel like I'm missing something, but it's really, really pretty. And I love this. Guess what it looks like in a tube. Now, I feel like the applicator is a little bit dirty and that's why it's not showing like the accurate color on my swatch here, but it's definitely more pink. I think it's because I put this on top of a nude lipstick. So, you know, it's just dirty. <laughs> also, I ended up getting, it's actually the last product. I can't believe this is the last product. So I got one of the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Uh, this is in the shade Warrior. And this is just a beautiful kind of nude. And I like the shade of this a lot. It's kind of like a dark nude. It's more like a mauve nude, if that makes sense. But I think this is beautiful. I didn't love the formula. I thought it was a little bit drying, but I don't really care if lipsticks are drying, to be honest, because I just put a gloss on top of it anyway. So it's just like not that really, wow. It's not really that big of a deal. So I feel like I've just talked too much because I clearly can't talk right now and make sense because English is hard. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know if there's anything in here that you want me to talk about in upcoming videos because I will happily do so because I'm still kind of testing out all of these things. So I think that is going to sum up my April haul and it'll probably be my last monthly haul as well. If you're really against the idea of me not doing my monthly hauls, let me know down below and maybe I can do them like here and there. Um, I almost thought I would say I can do like a collective haul, but no, there's no way I'm doing that because it's just so much easier for me to put everything into my collection as soon as I buy it and then not have to worry about like, you know, having to pull them out and having everything on a list on my phone and it's just, it gets a lot. I buy a lot of makeup, okay? I don't like keeping track of everything that I buy, it's just, I'm not a list kind of person, so. <laughs> That's going to sum up today's video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!